Hey guys, I hope you're at home staying safe. Now, I've received the most requests for a video I've ever gotten uh, in my entire life, and that, of course, is asking, hey, can you show a car-by-car -car tour of the facility? No problem, we're gonna do that in a second, but I wanna give you a little bit of a heads up. Number one, it's very dark in the facility, so the exposure on my camera is kind of going in and out. Same thing with the GoPro, so give me a little leeway there. Number two, the cars were so deep, so many cars, that I couldn't physically get to all of them, so I had to hold the camera up uh, sometimes while Holly was describing what's back there. And number three, this is just one of multiple buildings, but at the end of the video, I put a little bit of uh, sort of extra footage because there's side pockets and they have really cool engines and just amazing uh, car parts and things like that, as well as uh, a few cars. So I just added them in at the end. Now, keep in mind, uh, this video is 30 minutes long. Uh, if you need your detailing fix, I'm gonna do that in about two weeks where we do a 1967 Stingray. Awesome car, so that's gonna be fun. Now, finally, the owner called me yesterday and asked, hey, can you do me a favor and wish Holly a happy birthday? I said, not a problem. So without further ado, Holly, happy birthday, and thank you for the amazing tour. All right, so let me give you a quick tour, just enough to wet your taste buds and pique your interest. So let's start, okay? All right. Uh, right here, right off the bat, is a Hearst Oil 74 um, bone stock original, and uh, above it is a Plymouth Street Rod. Back there, we have a Pontiac convertible. And down below again, we have a, a dart way back there. There's a Polaris. Have you ever seen one of these? No, the Mantra Jet 5. So pretty cool stuff. Ah, above it, Superbird. This is Mike Musto written all over it. Right yes, now. it does. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Gorgeous vehicle. Uh, back there, we have a Jaguar convertible in front of the Plymouth. Like I said, a little bit of everything, yeah, folks. Yeah, exactly. Right here in the foreground, we have a Rolls Royce. Uh, he had intentions of pro streeting that. That is why that is sitting there, because he had had one and uh, people went nuts for it. He sold it immediately after he finished it and that was gonna be the second one. Below it is a good old fashioned 55 Chevy Resto Mod. Everybody loves those. Good road car. What's behind there? Oh, look at that. We have a RS Camaro back there. You see the white one? Has a houndstooth interior. Yep. Yeah, lovely, lovely car. Hey, there's the Pinto. Can you see it back there? See the little yellow Pinto? Yes. See? Something for everybody. Wouldn't that make a nice little street rod? <laughs> uh, under the cover here, watch your step. BMW, uh, only one of 10 in the country. All wheel drive, oh, wow. low mile. Cherry. Look at that. And that's oh, been in here. Favorite rims yeah, aren't those sexy? Oh my gosh. This has been in here about 20 years. All these cars are for sale, by the way. And will be. Above it, we have this uh, really great pickup truck, 55 Chevy. Oh, that's cool. Look at that's just. Here. I didn't even see that one. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm so used to seeing everything in here. Yeah, lovely 308 in a rare color of blue. Very nice blue. I'm not a blue fan, but I actually like that one. Wow. Lots of vets. Yep, lots of vets. Komoda. Ooh. Yeah, low mile. I think he drove it once. So it's virginal. What's back there? Mercedes. Uh, oh, that's a Charger. It's almost done. 69 Charger. Hemi. It's three deep, huh? one, two, three, and two. Yeah, two and then there are two rows three. on the back wall, exactly. So uh, I see the black Porsche back there. Uh, can you catch a glimpse of the 500, the Shelby 500? Yeah, I see the blue stripe. That's a triple white convertible. One of two that he has. <laughs> ah, this one, the Superbird, this is a great story. Uh, he found this car when he was about 20 years old. It was in a barn in a state where they didn't allow these cars to be on the road because it didn't have a front bumper. It wasn't street legal. And the car when it was parked only had a few hundred miles on it. It's original white car. As you can see the white coming through there. And we've already started working on taking the awful blue spray off of it. But this car was under a bunch of car covers in a barn. So that was a barn find that he did many, 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 many years ago. You can see the headlights are popped up because it doesn't hold when they sit. So they naturally pop up and open their eyes. I think that's kind of cool. 
Underneath it, this is one of my favorites, this Dodge Charger 67. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous car. What's That's this here? <laughs> Bought this from a gentleman out of Tucson, Arizona. Same with the uh, blue mantra that we already looked at. Another Rolls-Royce, Clinet convertible. He had a Rolls-Royce phase, so he loved it. Ah, you see the uh, Ferrari down here. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's a race car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he has another one, uh, same body style, black, that's pro-streeted. Oh yeah, look, 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 there's a roll bar in the back there. Yep, you see that? Uh, behind it, 67 Impala, big body, I like to call him. It's a big block. The street right above is a Brizio body, and that belonged to an Olympic swimmer, I think, Mike Eldridge. And it's just as pretty underneath. You see the red, white, and blue all the way underneath. That's a true show car. Absolutely awesome. Uh, up front here, this uh, mid-year Corvette. This is the Macintosh show car. They had built it for SEMA and some other uh, shows. Really a pretty vehicle. BMW above it has probably less than 100 miles. Don't quote me on that, but definitely under 1,000 miles. I think that was the last year of production. Uh, behind it, you see the yellow Porsche oh, wow. race yeah. car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just goes on and on, folks. Underneath it, 67 Chevy uh, wagon, teal. That's one of my favorites in here. I love the long roofs. Lingenfelter here. Yep, Lingenfelter car. Behind it, Porsche race car. Can you kind of catch oh, a okay. glimpse of that, the black one? Yeah, I see the roll bar. Okay. <laughs> All right, the street ride has a Marmon Harrington engine in it and uh, makes it pretty, pretty special. That's one of, one of our favorites. Pantera? Yes. White? Yeah. Pretty in white. Yeah. Ferrari? Ferrari. We have back there. Yeah, lovely, lovely custom. That is cool. Well, I like the old square body Seville's, and so does he. See another Pantera back there. A Pantera Ferrari. Ferrari. Yeah, there you go. Street ride, working on the back wheel. Ah, Mary Kay car. So, yeah. Again, something for everybody. <laughs> that famous Mary Kay pink. God love it. Uh, back there is a teal uh, GMMG wide body. See the Camaro? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very cool. Boy, there's a bunch of things back there. Mm -hmm. What's the blue one all the way back there? I believe that has 651 horsepower in the GMMG. Wow. Yeah, those were, those were neat. There was a limited production made 67 Corvette. There's a whole ton of Corvettes. Big blocks. Here. Most of them have some pretty rare options, like headrest, side pipe, teak wheel, things like that. They're all a little bit different, and they're all awesome. There's a Nomad wagon buried back there. You can see it. Yep. The Roman red, I call it orange. Watch your head. AMG Mercedes has a complete custom canvas top. Awesome. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Ah, uh, this is a gentleman's hot rod, as I call it. This was, uh, GM built two of these back in the day, and it was their answer to having more of a gentleman's version of the ZL1. So between the colors, it's still a high performance vehicle. Um, I wish it was cleaned up right now, but we'll get to that in a few weeks. Uh, but this thing is gorgeous top and bottom. One of my absolute favorite cars here. Lamborghini. Oh, back there. Uh-huh. The and then, be oh yeah, the LM002. That one has some pretty nice history to it. It is believed, that we need to prove it, uh, that that was owned by Nicolas Cage. Super low miles on it, like I said, as most. See the yellow Vicky street rod back there? Oh, yeah. Carrera race car. Just Corvettes as far as you can go back there. 67 vets, they're all amazing. Oh, yeah, look at that one. 
What's that blue one there? A 67, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, the white one right behind this one with the red stripe. Yes. That's cool. That's definitely a barn find. Look at that. They're all special. Like I say, most of them have rare options on them, including original wheels. This is a custom body Ferrari. Gorgeous wheel. So what do we have here? This is a V8 powered Devon race car built by Wagner Construction out of the Milwaukee, Wisconsin area. And uh, <clears throat> hopefully he can get this on the track soon. He bought this to actually have some fun with and play. These are really amazing. Devons were built in the 50s. They, had, uh, they could have 27 different body configurations the way the guy made the molds for them. It's a fiberglass car, very heavy fiberglass. And that's what I love. He thought ahead enough that they could all be slightly different. Sort of made to order, if you will. That's awesome. Well, what's back here? I see a ton of stuff, but we can't really get to it. I see a 356 way up there. Exactly. That's a Continental. Um, a there's a, oh yeah, the Jeep. Okay, you're way ahead of me there. Awesome. Yeah, right back there. Yeah, can't see it, but there's, uh, this is a pay, uh, Hurst Olds there, convertible. Yeah. Some sort of race car or something back there. Yeah, another like Camaro. Mm -hmm. This is an Auburn kit car just through there. Okay. Right there. Awesome. There's a Jaguar back there somewhere. Yes, another low mile Jag. The, uh, yeah, back eight. back side of the LM002. Yes. All right. Let's go this way. Over our heads, Corvette race car. He used to vintage race that, and hopefully we'll oh, soon yeah. again. That is so cool. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. There's a side pipe on Real badass. All right. Forty Chevy pickup truck. There's actually two of them in here. Is that a GTI? Yes. <laughs> it, it is. <laughs> the man who, who originally owned it actually inscribed his social security number all over it, as, as they used to do back in the day when it was okay to have your social out there. But uh, those That's days are long past. That you owned it? Yes, exactly, in case someone stole it. So uh, the glass, the, even I believe I was told that the uh, gas cap has it on it as well. Plymouth Street Rod, Humpback. Oh my gosh, what, what, what is that? 935? Mm-hmm. <laughs> he loves his Porsches. Apparently, what is this? <laughs> yeah, this is a, a Lamborghini kit car, and, but it was made, and I don't remember the name of the company, forgive me, but uh, it, it's, it's built like a brick shit house. <laughs> I mean, y you can stand and jump up and down on it. Yellow Corvette race car I used to run. And the white car there, if you remember Miami Vice. All steel here. Yeah. Ah, Steel Willys. This has a sock engine in it. I wish you could hear it run. That's in incredible. All right, so Miami Vice. Miami Vice. This was a kit car that was made in the 80s, um, as the Miami Vice car was as well. Uh, but they're lovely. It's made off of a Corvette chassis, usually a C3 chassis or C4. So all Chevy, all Chevy Corvette running gear, but with a Ferrari body on it. Yeah. Hey, another Rolls Royce. Yes. Watch your head. What's the story of this? Not the one we're working on today, but that's holy crap. Enough. It is what it is. It's enough. It's just endless. Porsche to your upper right. You see that? With the body floor kit. Okay. And don't forget Street Rod 34.
convertible. Oh, yeah. What about this one here? <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering. <laughs> I'm missing all of them. <laughs> yeah, this is a Luso. Okay. <laughs> so we go from Pinto to Luso. Oh, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of special surprises in here. I seriously didn't see that one. I <laughs> but see, that, but you understand how he collected this. He followed his heart. So whatever made him smile. Yeah, next to the is... Uh, this was popular to do with the square body Seville's, as I call them, was to shorten them and make them two doors. So there's a number of those floating around. But they all make you smile, right? Oh my gosh. And, and that's, that's what it's about, is the passion. So this is a race car? Yes. Yeah, and he also raced this. Hopefully he'll get back to it too. What we have here is... We call this the Marlboro Camaro. Just a mild, mild street car. 54 Corvette, very stock. Very good condition. Oh, this is, yeah, this is a neat little street rod. Uh, has a VW engine in it. Model T body, all steel. Removable hard top. What's behind you? We didn't do this. What is that? <laughs> this was a flower car. This is a Packard flower car. Some people think it's a, a, um, <clears throat> a hearse. Uh, but based on the, the things I see on the inside, it could also have been used as a flower car. This has all modern GM truck running gear. So this truly is a great road car. Yeah, get the hood ornament. Isn't that special? So this is a great driver, a good family truckster if you want to go to the street rod shows. Mm. Yeah, absolutely huge. Drives great. I'm <laughs> yeah, like everything else in here. Yeah, he, he wants to downsize. It's time to, to start to play a little bit. He'll still collect, of course, because the fun is in the hunt, always. What is this? This is a Nibala body. We call it the Avalanche. The Wood Wagon, that's... Uh, this might be one of my favorites here. It is one of his. Yes. Low mile. What are you looking at? What did you find now? Maserati. Low mile. Yeah, real SS. Houndstooth interior. That's a 54, but that's a kit car. Made to be more of a driver. So that's fabulous. Another steel body, Willie. Big block, tub. Now we got here. Oh, this is the. Uh... This is a Kirkham Cobra, 428. Uh, not quite complete. We need to get the transmission in it and uh, time to play. I love the Kirkham bodies. Not only is it a great quality build that they do. Uh, but the folks at, at Kirkham are also really nice. They'll work with you. Is this the rumored car I heard that you polished by hand? No, this is not the one. There's another one, but great story. Three days, it was like doing a giant wheel. And now, now we're getting some more modern <coughs> Ford GTs here. Yep, this is a Ford GT made into a race car. Uh, original 2,400 mile car. And the gentleman decided he wanted to go racing. So that's what he did. This is awesome. Oh, this, this, is, this is a bad actor. This has got to be a trip on the Yeah, th this is a bad actor. It's all that. And it's a heritage, too. It's yes, heritage. yeah, it, yeah, it's an original heritage car. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Another low mile. I'm not sure if I've ever seen one in your life. Really? With, with a white interior as well. Yeah, so 80s, and I love that. Oh, 
Yeah, this is a great car. In fact, he was thinking about selling the Joppa, but I may have talked him out of it, but we'll see. Because <laughs> I decided I loved it too. These things are super cool. I always sell that. It just keeps going. And, and going and going and going. So give me the short version of what's all the way back there. Okay, so GTX down there, very nice condition car. Uh, the Hemi, I believe that's an original Snodgrass Green, if I use the right words. Um, but he hates the color, so that one's definitely, definitely going to go. But you can see it's a convertible. Yep. Have a turbo here, the Lotus. Yes. The low tie. The low tie. You pronounce it like I do. I love it. And we have the back there. Yes. The 40s. We have Cobras up there. Yeah, some of them are kits. There's one that seems to be wrapped up like a mummy back there somewhere. Yes. That's a very special Cobra. One of his favorites. There's one, two, three, like five or six GT40s back there, the yellow one. Yes. Maserati. Still body Willie again. Ferrari on the bottom. Oh, what's the, yeah, what's the Ferrari down there? Oh, I see. Yes. Don't remember, I'll have to get the story from him. Yeah, I, I, I can't keep all of it in my head. And this is one of how many buildings? Three. What's above you? <laughs> is this a cut car? Yeah, this looks like another California. What's this? What's this? Yes. Whoa, McLaren race car. Mm -hmm. That was belonged to the Smothers Brothers. For those of you who may or may not remember who the Smothers Brothers were, but they were a comedy team back in the 60s and 70s, and <coughs> they liked to go racing too. So he bought that hoping that uh, that's what he would do as well. But that's the real deal. Here's another 40 Chevy truck above you. That's the second one in here. Mach 1, real deal. RT, needing some paint. It's halfway through its restoration. Dark convertible. What is this thing here? Ah, the Aurora. One of two. This is out of the GM Historic Collection. Um, the Oldsmobile team used to race these and uh, just two. I'm not sure where the other one is. I think the other one is still in the GM Historic Collection. I think this was one of them that they let loose. Now behind you, obviously, these are the two that I'm working on now. Yeah. The terrain. Now, from what I understand, you have two of those? Yes. Yes. And then the Noble next to it, what's the story behind that? It's got a Ferrari engine. It has a Ferrari engine in it. The glass is just incredible. Sort of birdcage-esque. I can't wait to see that in the daylight. Yeah, that's going to be a trip. They've always been back here. I've never seen more tires outside a tire rack. <laughs> I mean, they're, just, they're just everywhere. Well, you never know. And then behind you, we still haven't even finished, which is insane. Exactly. We have the SS up here. Mm -hmm. Another GMMG SS oh. anniversary. Another Lambo. Double white. Again, low miles. I believe about 700. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so well, still. It only gets 14 miles to the gallon, so I don't oh, know. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, you'll have to look at your budget for that. <laughs> GT40. Yeah, Mark V, another Mark V, and one right behind you as well. Oh, I mean, literally behind me. Okay. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and you already already headed to, the, to that one as well. Yeah. And what's the story behind this here? That is believed to be uh, one of the cars used in the Ferris Bueller movie. They used three. That car's been up there. This is a triple rack now, folks. <laughs> um, that car's been up there 25, maybe 30 years. Uh, here we have a Morgan back here. Again, something for everybody. This has the Buick V6 engine in it, so it goes like stink. Probably weighs nothing. 
Weighs nothing. That thing is a little pocket rocket. Oh, look, the tires. Hey. Just in case. <clears throat> Another project, 67 vet. California cut. Back at the, the front, motorcycles, and here, Cobra kit car. And it's packed over there, but it looks like you have a ton of stuff in there. Yet another room here. Yeah, yeah, for for another day, yeah. but. Uh, GT40 and a bunch of. Yeah, GT40 is a kit car by Butler, I believe. Uh, but back there is a a Boss Mustang. There's another Ferrari in there. All right, we gotta take a look here. Oh my gosh, he's got transmissions. He's got axles. Wow. Oh man, there's a race car under here. And there was light. Well, that's pretty nuts. Look at these engines. Still in the case. Corvette. Transmissions. More, geez, look at this, blowers. These are brand new. More cars back here, watch yourself. This Viper engine. Sandblast machines. Sort of body shop type stuff. Wow. Oh. Heavy duty pressure washer. Yeah, we got that. Is that a Corvette hanging from the ceiling? It is indeed. Well, you don't see that every day, but okay. Well, guys, that's it. Of course, if you have any questions, shoot me an email at larry at ammonyc.com or visit my website, ammonyc.com, for more helpful how-to car care videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.